going to be a reading for Sagittarius. Okay, sorry about that, Sag. I already had to pause. Okay, so this is going to be a reading, uh, your love reading. Love, I can't talk. This is going to be your general love reading for Sagittarius. Okay, so I have my Rider Waite, um, my, let's see, my Light Seers deck, um, my Shadow deck, and your Spirit Message. Let's jump right in. We're going to start with my Rider Waite. We're going to do four cards from here, four cards from the Light Seers. We are reading for Sagittarius for May. Congratulations, you guys are my top three. Adjust this camera a bit. Here we go. So it went, um, Taurus, Aquarius, Sagittarius. All right, what does our Sagittarius need to know? Thank you for allowing me to be your channel for source messages. Let's do um, four cards for Sag. One second, Sag. Okay. So, sorry. Oh, it's just one, two, three. And I started my camera back. If you do hear any background noise, it's because it's raining outside, Sag. Four cards. Woo, Ace of Wands. We got some fire energy right off the bat. You got something new coming in very quickly. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Whoa. So this is unrelated to love, but I feel like some of you are worried about your finances because maybe you've downsized your workload or something. And let's see one more. Side energy. Ooh, we got strength, Leo energy. Right there, look at that. Oh, I, I forgot to turn my light on. Hold on, let's turn the light on. Whoa, that's really bright. <laughs> there we go. So look, this is Leo energy. That came out as a side hoe, <laughs> or the side energy. Like, like I, I like to call them side cards. Somebody's spying on you, Sag. Okay, so we have Ace of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. I have two cards right here. This energy of feeling like someone is spying on you, watching your growth. If that makes sense. Huh. Okay, so this is possibly a new relationship. We're doing a love reading. This usually is something new. But this could be, um, like I said, a new relationship. So for those of you that have been single for a while, this is definitely a new relationship, Sag. For those of you that are, are in a relationship right now, it could be some growth in your current relationship. I see these little buds which show like some type of movement forward, some growth together. Um, for some of you, it's going to be in regards to your finances too, like, but in relation to your person, if that makes sense. So if, so say for example, you're with someone like this is, and this is for, this is not going to resonate with everyone. I can already tell, but for those of you Sagittarius's that are in a relationship with someone and you guys sort of have shared finances or you're married or whatever, um, when one of you takes a hit, the other one's going to pull through and really be there for you financial wise. Does that make sense? So they're going to sort of show you a different side of, of their spectrum. Okay. And it's, it's beautiful. Um, and for those of you that are single, you do have, okay. So let me just backtrack. This is the card I seen where like, if you are, are going to have some financial troubles, then your person is going to come through in a pinch, okay? And for those of you, excuse me, there goes that throat chakra again. One second. For those of you that are single, we got these two cards of this sort of spying energy, page of pentacles, page of wands, someone watching you, 
sort of admiring your growth um thinking like how far you've come and sort of feeling like this energy of like almost amazement at how far you've come and i do see sagittarius that you have come a long way like this card right here the leo it's you know it's like i said it's leo energy it's leo card it's strength <clears throat> but this card is showing me that you have come a really long way you've had uh, to to you had to have a lot of courage and a lot of inner strength. You had to literally release your inner lion in order to do what you do, okay? If that makes sense. Okay, we need four more cards for Sag. <clears throat> so, um, this person that is watching you, let's see if we can get some information for you. All right, can we get some answers for Sag about this person that's watching them? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles, the Magician. Oh God, this is, this is a lot of energy. Okay, so for some of you, you have more than one person that's watching you. We have Seven of Cups, which shows me like multiple... Again, I did say for those of you that are single, you're going to have a new relationship. This was just confirmed right there with the Ace of Cups. So we got two cards of something new coming in. So you Sagittarius that are single, you will not be for long. And this is something that you've manifested by focusing on yourself, focusing on your magic, and that's what's bringing it in. And... Um, for those of you that were worried about your finances, you know, because this card is coming up showing me like not actual like hardship, but worrying about being left in the cold, worrying about your finances. Maybe you, you know, cut down with hours at work, you downsized or something. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> we have King of Pentacles, which is this energy of, you know, um, it's like retirement energy. It's basically like you've earned everything that, that's coming your way. Um, you've earned this partner in love. You've earned your spot. And it's because you've done so much work on yourself. All right. Can we get three more cards for Sag, please? About this person that is watching them. Whoa. Okay. So we got Queen of Pentacles. So this is two counterpart cards. I was going to say the energy of a divine feminine that's watching you, but okay, let's see. Three more cards. Wow. This is, yeah, we got, hold on. There's a lot of energy coming in. Uh, you have a lot of sevens, seven, seven. So you're in this, you're in this energy of, Finding your good luck, okay, if that makes sense. Your spirit guides, what is my hair doing? Your spirit guides are guiding you every step right now of your love life. They're telling me that luck is on your side. There's lots of sevens, but there's also lots and lots of growth. I have a haircut scheduled. Um, Memorial, no, the 31st. Is That's not Memorial Day, is it? It's a few days after. Excuse me, maybe it is. Anyways, I couldn't stand it anymore. I was like, I need to get my hair trimmed. So the kids already got theirs done, and they're actually due. It's been so long since I've had my hair trimmed that I took my kids to get their hair cut, and their hair is already growing back, and they're, they're already due for another haircut, and, you know, I haven't even had mine cut yet so I'm going to get mine cut and then I'm going to take them to get theirs again so because you know I'm I do that I pay for everything so okay so we have divine counterparts here if you are the energy of the king of pentacles so divine masculine here is your divine counterpart queen of pentacles um so you know fit it in where it fits in either she's watching you or you're watching her and you guys are noticing each other's growth. Um, 
your divine feminine, if you're a divine masculine, she's very patient. She's sitting there sort of in her own independent energy. So if you are a divine, divine masculine, you are watching this, know that your divine feminine is getting to where she needs to be because she's very independent right now. This is the energy of someone who's worrying about her own finances. She's taking care of her own shit. She doesn't need you to take care of her. She's already got her own shit, okay? This seven of pentacles shows me that you guys have grew separately and yet together, if that makes sense. So it's like you guys have probably known each other for a long time. Your roots go very deep. That's what they're showing me with the roots here. Your roots go very deep. You guys might run in the same spiritual community. And look, we got an energy of spying again, page of swords. So again, this energy, there's three cards of like learning about each other or watching each other, watching each other's journey. You know, like I said, you, you might run in the same spiritual community. You might um, go to school together, you know, depending on, and this could be, it doesn't, you know, I'm not talking about like high school. Like you guys could be in college together. You guys could be in adult ed together. Maybe you're taking a, a pottery class together. I don't know, like whatever it is, there is this energy of you guys have known each other for a minute and You've been watching each other sort of grow and bloom. And this is the card of learning. That's why I said maybe you guys are taking a class together. Maybe you guys um, do something together in regards to like learning something. Does that make sense? And there's a lot of cards of growth here. Look, growth on the wand. Growth here. A plant is growing. Where is the other one? I've seen another one right here. Ace of Wands growing. Look, it's beautiful energy of two counterparts sort of growing together and into each other's lives. Look at that. Here we got this wonderful energy of love. Two people made for each other. A lot of heart-centered energy and love here between these two people. Um, it's a powerful magic connection um there was something else oh and lots of passion so you could be dealing with another fire sign possibly um although the queen of pentacles is earth sign energy so your person could have earth or fire in their chart awesome okay so we're going to move on to your shadows all right, let's see if you have any shadows in regards to love, my beautiful Sagittarius's. Whoa. And then we're going to do your spirit message and call it a reading. All right, what do we got for Sagittarius? Do they have any shadows in regards to their love life source? Angels, spirit guides, I'm connecting now to the collective energy of Sagittarius's spirit team what do you want our Sagittarius is that watch me what do you want them to know in regards to their love life in regards to their shadows please let's see whoa that card flew out now if you don't have any shadows Sagittarius then nothing will come out so far you've got two cards that flew out and none of them are shadows you guys are perfect all right <laughs> nobody's perfect but you're damn near close okay so we have number 18 um, if you add it up, it's nine. It's the energy of playing, having fun. So right now, Sagittarius, this, oh, this card, the energy coming off this card. You got the sun, which is, again, this is Leo energy, but it's not just Leo energy. It's having fun. It's enjoying your life. It's, I mean, literally, look, it's a couple. They're at, they're, um, at it's some kind of playground. The Divine Feminine is going down the slide. We have a merry-go-round, um, a carousel. It's the energy of, of fun, you know, in the summer time. The sun represents joy. Like I said, it's not just Leo energy. It's also like passion, fun, joy, happiness. It's one of the happiest um, energies in, in the deck, right? And you also have the sun on this next card that came out. This is number 11, which is a master number, Sagittarius. This card says trust. 
And if you look, there's a sun in this card again. So many happy, beautiful energies coming in for you, my beautiful fire signs. We have a person in a parachute and they're literally trusting the universe and they're giving, um, they're sort of giving their full um, trust into the universe and into source God and their spirit guides. They're saying, I trust you fully, no matter where you take me with this parachute, I'm going to completely enjoy the journey and follow and trust that you are going to keep me safe and protect me and do everything for my highest good and for the highest good of humanity. It's beautiful. <clears throat> and, you know, it's, it's all about blind faith and um, it's about surrendering to what the universe is, is offering you. Such beautiful energy. Oh, last card that just flew out. <laughs> it's not a shadow. So right now, in this moment in time, Sagittarius, you guys have no shadows in love. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm overwhelmed with love right now. If you can feel my love, like I'm such a burning um, sensation of passion and love and such overwhelming joy. Your guys' energy right now is absolutely beautiful. It's sort of making my heart feel um, like, okay, so let me try to describe the feeling. Like jumping with joy, sort of erratic, um, fluttery type feeling. So <clears throat> it's very, very nice feeling. So we have eight, eight, which is truth, and it's a healing. You have two healing cards. You've healed the issue of not having trust in yourself in the universe, and that's beautiful. Also, you've healed um, the, the shadow of, of not being able to face your own personal truth, because look, this is number eight, and it's healing. We got two eights, because we also got eight in this one, play, right? This first card, play, this is a luck card. It's basically saying the universe is handing you something beautiful. And, and I said, didn't I say the universe is handing you lots of like amazing gifts because luck is in your favor? And there it is. There is a proof. There is luck. It's 18, right? So it's number nine. But anyways, so you've healed some kind of personal truth. You have absolutely no problem standing in your truth, Sagittarius. You have the key that has unlocked the truth, not only for you, but also for humanity and for so many people around you. You have become that light that has inspired other people to be their best selves. And I see that because of that, you have so much joy coming in. We got the sun right here. We got the sun right here. And we have the sun right here. There's nothing but beautiful sunshine and happiness and joy coming in regards to your love life and in regards to your life in general. Look at you hold the key to your own happiness and you've unlocked your throat chakra. You've spoken your truth over and over again. And because of that, look at this. You're going to get the key to someone's heart. For those of you that are in a committed relationship, you know, you're finding your way back to like this playful sort of romantic energy of love with your partner. And for those of you that are single, look at that. It is a divine feminine handing the key to her heart over to this divine masculine because she's saying, I have healed myself. I, I know how to trust myself. I know how to trust the universe. I know how to speak my truth. I'm not going to let anyone misuse me because I know my worth. And because of that, you guys are going to have this wonderful reciprocity of like love and playfulness and just expanded joy from your heart chakras together. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's get your spirit message before I continue to just gush about this beautiful Sagittarius reading. Okay, beautiful, beautiful Sag. Good job. <laughs> I love you guys. All right. Okay, so let's do your healing card. And shout out to my favorite Sagittarius out there. My two favorites. We got Alex and John Benny. My, my two favorite little Sagittarius. Okay, let's see what we got. Last card for Sagittarius. Oh, look at that beautiful energy. I love it. Look at what we got. We have self 
love. It is beautiful. Number 24. Four and two added up at six. So six is the number of spirituality. It is the number. Look at the gorgeous energy coming out of this card. It is this gorgeous energy of spiritual healing, self-love, radiating. It's very, um, uh, what's the stone of love? Oh, God. Rose quartz sort of energy. This energy of like being free in yourself, being comfortable in your skin. Look at that. It's a woman. She's wrapped in a, a very thin, sheer sort of clothing. You can see right through it. And she's completely comfortable. I mean, her nips are out. She doesn't care. She's completely comfortable with her body. You know, I mean, it's literally the 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 material that she's in is completely see-through and you can see everything it's it represents her you know naked vulnerability she's she's basically saying this is me accept me or don't but this is me she's exposing herself and her vulnerability and she's not afraid it was 21 12 on my camera so she's basically not afraid to show off that ex you know that beautiful um intimate part of her like whole existence she's wearing her heart on her sleeve and she's completely bare for the world to see and yet she's saying i'm not afraid that you're gonna judge me because she's not afraid you know so it's this energy of like you sagittarius being comfortable where you are right now and saying this is me love me or hate me i am my best most beautiful vulnerable self and you're just you have this open, beautiful, vulnerable, exposed heart. And because of that, you have so many wonderful blessings, not just in the love department, but in your whole entire life coming in right now in this moment. This is going to be your summer, Sag. I can feel it. Your crown, your crown chakra is popping. Your heart chakra, look. Heart chakra, open. Crown chakra, open arms opened up to receive everything beautiful from the universe look at that energy oh it's gorgeous who i have chills all over my whole entire body this reading has been phenomenal oh my gosh i love you so much sag okay i have some new products um if you have a chance check out the video it says new merch or something like that and it has a picture of my new product it's a chakra bunny sexy soak and it is a bath salt which is program sorry children a bath salt which is programmed for or er, programmed sorry why did i say that um which is oh what's the word to look for it's not programmed um activated there it is i i activated them for tantric sexuality and for romance so check those out. You can watch the video that I posted about it if you have any questions about it. I also have a new website, you guys, that I created myself. So I made it easier for you guys to book a reading with me. It's also in the description. Hold on one second, Sage. Okay, Sag. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up your reading there. My children are acting up. <laughs> um... So yes, if you click on the little arrow, sorry, I was so distracted. If you click this little arrow, it pops up my description box and you can check, please, even if you don't purchase the reading, check out my new website because I put my whole entire energy into this website. I created it myself. Everything, every single detail on there, I created it on Wix.com. And so I made it easier for you to book a reading with me. I'm also on the Wick app. So if you guys want to get on there, I can add you to my members chat and we can just chat. Um, I can answer any questions for you about like what I offer and things like that. You know, that that's, that's another way for you guys to be able to connect with me. All right. I love you, Sag. Bye.